Hey guys, welcome to the online math class. This video will be about linking linear equations and graphs. And by the end of this lesson, our goal is to be able to find the y-intercept and slope from an equation, be able to sketch straight line graphs, and also be able to find the equation of a line from the graph. So just pause the video here, take a couple of minutes to write these down. All right, so to find the y-intercept, we need to start off by knowing what it is. So the y-intercept is just the point where the graph goes through the y-axis. So on this graph here, I've got the x-axis going horizontally and the y-axis going vertically. So that's x across like that and y vertically like that. So once again, y-intercept is where the, uh, where the graph goes through the y-axis. So that's right there. So the y-intercept for this graph will be 0, 2. As you might be able to guess, the x-intercept will be over here, where it goes through the x-axis. That's something we'll learn a bit more in the future. All right, now going back to the general form of a straight line, it was y equals mx plus c. And the number that takes the position of m is the slope or the gradient of the graph. So if you had something like y equals 3x plus c, the gradient for this graph would just be 3. And c is just the y-intercept of the graph. So if I had y equals 3x plus 3, the y-intercept would be 3. And just something to point out, you might see equations in this format. It's actually exactly the same as the one up there. In this case, b is just the gradient and a is the y-intercept. So they've just switched a few things around there. So if you use the letters m and c again, that will just be y equals c plus mx. So you can see how it's the same thing. They just like to be a bit confusing at times. All right, so moving on to this graph here, we're going to have a go at finding the y-intercept. So the y-intercept for this one, we can see crosses the y-axis right there. So it will be, the coordinates of it will be 0, 1. And the slope for this graph, I'm going to label this one as x1, y1. And I'll call this x2, y2. Once I've got that, just remembering that our formula for the gradient was rise over run, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, would be y2 is uh, 7, y1 is 1, x2 is 2, y2 is 0. So your gradient here will be 7 minus 1, which is 6 over 2. That gives me a value of 3. So y intercepts up the top, where it crossed the y-axis, and that's my gradient there. And now going back to these key points, make sure you've got these down in your books and just make sure it's in your bound reference. All right, we're going to use this information here now to answer some questions. So this question says write down the y-intercept and slope of each of the straight line graphs defined by the following equations. So remembering that the general formula was y equals mx plus c, m was the gradient, c was the y-intercept. So the gradient for this first one, we'd write m equals 9 whilst the y-intercept c equals negative 6. And putting that into words, we would write slope equals 9, y-intercept equals negative 6. Just remembering that we always take the sign right in front of the number. The next question, I'll just keep referring to the gradient as m and y-intercept as c. So the gradient here will be negative 5 and not just 5, make sure you've got that sign. And y-intercept here will be 10 or positive 10. Next question here, we have m equals negative 2, and there's nothing, there's no c there, it's technically plus 0, so that means c will be 0. And last one, we have y minus 4x equals 5, that's not quite in the format of y equals mx plus c, so we need to rearrange it to get y by itself. So to do that, I need to move 4x to the other side, and that's negative 4x, so I need to add 4x to both sides, so that gives me y equals 5 plus 4x. Once you're here, uh, you can put the 4x in front because the order of addition does not matter. So I could do 4x plus 5 there. Once I've got that, I can see that m equals positive 4, whilst c equals positive 5. And you may get questions like this, where the order is a bit different. This is just in the format of y equals a plus bx. If you get this, you can rearrange the uh, questions to get into y equals mx plus c. So all you would do is put the 9x at the front, and then subtract that by 6. These two are exactly the same there. All right, now that we can find the gradient and y-intercepts from equations, we need to go the other way this time. We are going to find the equation with the y-intercept and the slope. All right, so once again, remembering y equals mx plus c, let's have a go at these questions. So question A, our y-intercept is 9, and slope is 6. So that means, I'll start with the slope, that gives me 6x, and the intercept is 9, so it has to be plus 9 there. Let's have a go at question B. I have y-intercept equals 2 and the slope equals negative 5. So that will be y equals slope is negative 5, so it will be negative 5x plus 2 there. 
And last one, question C. Y intercept is negative 3 and slope is 2, so it'll be Y equals 2X minus 3. And now with the equations, we're going to learn how to sketch straight line graphs. So when sketching straight line graphs, only two points are needed to draw a straight line. When we're given an equation, we can see the Y intercept straight away. So that will be our first point. A second point can then be calculated by substituting a value, any value into X. And then once we have these two points, we can sketch the graph. So you might want to pause the video here and write these steps down. But otherwise, let's have a go at doing some questions. So this question says sketch the graph of y equals 8 plus 2x. I'm just going to start off by rearranging that into y equals mx plus c. So that gives me y equals 2x plus 8. Alright, so my y-intercept there is going to be, I'll just write it there, positive 8. So I know my first coordinate already, that's going to be 0, 8. Next step, just substitute any value into that equation. So replace x with any number, just one that makes the calculation a bit easy. Make sure it's not zero though, otherwise you'll just get the y-intercept again. All right, so I'm just gonna make it nice and easy. Let's go with the one. So I'm gonna replace the x with one. And that's gonna give me y equals two plus eight. Two times one is two plus eight will be 10. So that means the coordinates for the second point, we use x is one. So the x coordinate is gonna be one, whilst the y coordinate is going to be 10. All right, so we've got our two points now. That's my first point, 0, 8, and that's my second one, 1, 10. All I need to do now is sketch my graph, just uh, draw a rough sketch of an x and y axis. Just make sure you use a ruler. Once you've got that, start with the y-intercept. I'll say 0, 8 around here. So that's my first point. And 1, 10, that's my next point. I'll say that's about there. So these sketches don't have to be accurate. Once you've got that, just connect those two points with the ruler. I can't use the ruler on my uh, computer, so sorry about that. And just uh, connect those two lines and make sure it extends a bit beyond uh, the two points. That just shows that the graph is continuous and put arrows on the end to point that out as well. Also make sure you've labeled each of the two points. And when sketching graphs, you also need to show that that is the origin. All right, now let's have a go at finding the equation of a straight line. And if you haven't noticed already, this formula is very important, y equals mx plus c. All right, so just a few steps in finding the equation of a straight line. Our first step is to identify the y-intercept. Once we've done that, use two points on the graph to find the slope or the gradient, m, and then substitute these two values into the equation y equals mx plus c. All right, so pause the video here if you want to write these down. Otherwise, we'll go on to a question. So this question says, determine the equation of the straight line graph shown opposite, so the one just here. All right, so just remembering y equals mx plus c, let's start with the y-intercept. We can see that straight away. That is just there, and the coordinates for that are 0, 2. So we know already it's going to be y equals mx plus 2. And right, now we need to find the gradient. Just pick any two points on the line. I'm just going to pick this one up here because it's directly on a number. Because if you pick somewhere like here, you're working with decimal, so it makes calculations very difficult. So just going with that coordinate up there, I'm just going to write it down. That is x coordinate is 5, whilst the y coordinate is 9. So I'll go with that as x2, y2, that is x1, y1. So my slope, m, is going to be 9 minus 2. And the run is going to be 5 minus 0. That gives me 7 over 5. That's my gradient there, 7 over 5. So my equation would just be y equals 7 over 5x plus 2. So it is okay to leave the slope uh, as a fraction. You can, however, use a calculator and convert that into a decimal. So just do 7 divided by 5. That gives me 1.4. So you could have y equals 1.4x plus 2. Either one of those will be correct there. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all back online.